Alaska, renowned for its breathtaking landscapes and pristine wilderness, is facing an environmental mystery that has left scientists and residents alike puzzled and concerned. It's a whole different different world that we're going to have to learn to deal with. In recent times, several rivers in the state have taken on an unusual and alarming hue of orange, raising questions about the health of these vital waterways. This phenomenon has prompted a flurry of investigations and discussions within the scientific community as experts strive to unravel the mystery behind Alaska's rivers turning orange. The Kobuk River and many others in the area are turning a bright orange color. This odd change has puzzled scientists from the United States Geological Survey, the USGS, and made them wonder, what's going on with Alaska's rivers? The USGS, along with other top research groups, decided to take a closer look. They wanted to map out where this was happening, figure out how it was affecting the environment, and solve the mystery of why the water was turning orange. Their research found that these orange rivers have more iron, less oxygen, and are more acidic than the normal, with a pH of 3.5. Some of these rivers are even more acidic than orange juice. But why are these changes happening? The Arctic is heating up almost four times faster than the rest of the world. Annual Arctic report card says the pace of sea ice decline and surface ocean warming is unprecedented. U.S. government scientists say there is an unparalleled period of warmth in the Arctic. And this might be causing the ground, known as permafrost, to thaw. Normally, permafrost keeps iron trapped under the ground. When it thaws, the iron gets released into the streams and reacts with the air, turning the water orange. But this isn't just about rivers changing color. It's a big deal for the environment, too. The change in water color could mean trouble for the animals living in the rivers and the communities relying on them for fishing and clean water. For instance, the residents of Kivalina Village depend on the Wulik River for their water and fish. If the river keeps turning orange, it could really affect their way of life. The USGS is now working on a big study to figure out when and where these orange rivers are popping up. They're looking into what's causing these changes and how it's connected to the warming climate. As researchers dig deeper into this mystery, it's clear that the stakes are high. Understanding why Alaska's rivers are turning orange is key to knowing how it will affect the environment and the people living there. This isn't just a strange occurrence in the wilderness. It's a sign that we need to pay attention to our planet's health and do our part to take care of it. The story of Alaska's rivers reminds us that our planet's health is delicate and that we all have a role in protecting it. As we continue to explore and understand these changes, we're reminded of our duty to respect and care for the beautiful world we all share. If you're passionate about green technologies and a sustainable future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell, and join our community of eco-enthusiasts.